I am at the Raccoon Mountain Reservoir um, near Chattanooga. That's, the reservoir is actually back over there. It's in the middle. Can't really see the reservoir, you can just see the wall. But it, we're up on a mountain, and so the whole trail sort of circumnavigates the top of this mountain um, at the same time circumnavigating the reservoir. So. It'll be interesting to see what it's all about. I don't think there's a lot of elevation changes. It's not a um, particularly difficult trail, but it should be um, 13 or 14 miles, I think, um, depending on which choices I make. We'll see. This is a very interesting tree up here. This is grown around this rock. Mother Nature finds a way, no matter what. very nice up here. It's a very cold day. It's, uh, I mean, 32 Fahrenheit tops. So it's, it's pretty chilly, but I've got the hand warmers on and the foot warmers and the layers. And so far I'm doing okay warmth wise. So we shall see. It's supposed to be sunny, but it's not. But, you know, what do they know? Usually not much. You can see the river down there. I'm not sure you can see it on video, but I can see it just barely. I'm not sure if there's going to be an overlook coming up where it can be seen better. Just barely see it through the trees. So there's the river. I think I'm going to stop here and have a snack. This is pleasant rock outcropping. Good place to sit down. So I had a little snack, a tortilla with some hazelnut chocolate stuff in it. Um, here to show off a new piece of gear. This is my, I wish you could see it. Uh, yeah, my little hiking skirt, which I thought I would just wear for in camp and stuff like that just to keep my butt warm but it's a cold day so I put it on for sitting on the rock and it's so awesome I'm just gonna keep wearing it uh, what the heck doesn't hurt never never hurts to stay a little warmer I find definitely that even if I start getting warm in my core I, I, I've learned not to take off layers because it, it makes my hands and feet cold so I could be toasty warm on my hands and feet and then take off my puffy and in half an hour my hands and feet will be cold so even if i get a little bit too warm everywhere else it's worth it to keep my hands and feet from freezing so just added another layer with the skirt we'll see how the, how that works
Now we're really coming right up against the uh, reservoir, I guess. There's a wee big, big hill of rocks, basically. The reservoir is on the other side of that. I drove by it on the way here, so I, I, I know it's up there. <laughs> Kind of a strange looking thing. This is also a mountain biking trail, apparently. I haven't seen any mountain bikers yet. It's always a good thing, because you know, mountain bikers tend to ride really fast and not really care if you're in their way. So I don't mind not seeing any, but I think this is, obviously they would just love this kind of place. Very mountain bikey. It is definitely cold today, it is still it's noon and it's only 35 degrees so it is a cold one I did get a little bit cold stopping which is always a risk for me stopping because my hands start getting cold and then I have to get them rewarmed up which is never an easy matter it's best if they just stay warm from the beginning but it is what it is I'm about halfway now and I'm just gonna power on and try to hike pretty fast, which will help me warm up. We've got some small ups and downs, which has been helpful because it's helped me get warmed up. My hands are toasty now, which is good. And um, as I said, the rest of me is a little bit too warm, but I know from experience that if I cave and take off layers, my hands are gonna start getting cold. So we will just suffer long being a little bit too warm for the sake of hands. There's many of these lovely sort of peekaboo views on this trail, which I imagine are less visible in summer. So if you want to come hiking here and see something, the time probably is winter when the leaves are off the trees. Something kind of sad happened on the trail. I guess because it got suddenly so cold, there are a lot of these dead grasshoppers. There's another one up here somewhere. Not sure where he went. But there, I've seen many of them. So I guess, I mean, it was. 70 degrees yesterday and it's 35 today. I guess they just weren't ready for it. I mean, I guess they don't make it through the winter anyway, but it's just kind of sad. The trail's littered with little grasshopper corpses. R.I.P. grasshoppers. Here's the reservoir. Apparently up on this side we go a little higher, so we can actually see it. I'm not sure if there's going to be a better view later on, but there it is. All of the trails are named things like Electric Avenue and Megawatt, so um, I'm assuming they're producing electric power um, from this reservoir as in addition to water. I'll have to do some research on that. Don't know much about Chattanooga's electrical grid. It's almost sunny, this little bit of peaks of sun coming through. And we're up in this nice area with all these evergreens, which I always like. Reminds me of the Pacific Northwest or New England in the vein. Don't, don't have a ton of that in Tennessee, so whenever we get it, I like it. But we're definitely getting some little bits of sun and it's warmed up a little bit, so that's good. I've done about 10 miles at this point and continuing on. So I guess we found the electrical part of this. It's 
quite quite something. I'm not sure what it's all about. Clearly it's electrical. <laughs> Clearly they are producing hydroelectric power here. I don't think I've ever seen uh, anything quite like that. So our questions are answered. This is the high voltage switch yard. Pumped storage plant which carries outgoing and incoming electricity specifically designed to blend into the natural surroundings. Okay. I am not sure how that blends into the natural surroundings. Um. Okay. Okay. There. A little delusional on that point. When water is being pumped to the mountaintop reservoir, electricity is brought into the switch yard from other power plants and TVA system. It is then carried to the powerhouse over the same cables that bring electricity from the generators. Okay. White fiberglass globes were placed over the breakers to muffle the sound. It's not very noisy at all. I can barely hear it, I will say. Interesting. And here we have Chattanooga off in the distance. All right, I am back at the scenic overlook of Chattanooga. Uh, that hike was 13.5 miles. And it's a nice hike. It's, there's a lot to see, particularly in the winter, I think less in the summer. But um, it's nice. There's a lot of variation. I recommend it. <laughs>